Hi, in the previous set of videos we have discussed how to draw a line between start and end coordinates using different line drawing algorithms in computer graphics like midpoint line drawing algorithm, DDA line drawing algorithm, Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. The link for those videos is given in the description below. In this video we will discuss how to draw a line between the start and end coordinates using midpoint line drawing algorithm. This is solved example number 1. The link for other examples is given in the description below. In this case we have been given the starting point as 20,10 and end point as 30,18 that is x0 y0 is 20,10 and x n y n is 13,18. Given these start and end points, first we need to calculate few parameters that is delta x and delta y. Delta x is equivalent to xn minus x0 which is equivalent to 30 minus 20 equals to 10. Delta y is equivalent to yn minus y0 which is equivalent to 18 minus 10 equals to 8 here. Now in step number 2, we calculate the two parameters. One is d initial and delta d. d initial is equivalent to 2 times delta y minus delta x which is equivalent to 6 and delta d is equivalent to 2 times delta y minus delta x which is equivalent to minus 4 here. So these are the two parameters which are help which will help us to find all the points between starting and end points. Now in uh, step number 3 we need to select one of the two cases that is case 0 or case 1 or case 2 depending on the value of uh, the d initial. In this case the d initial is 6 and delta d is equal to minus 4. So because d initial is equal to 6 which is greater than or equal to 0 we need to select the case number 2. In case number 2 x k plus 1 is equal to x k plus 1 and y k plus 1 is equal to y k plus 1. d nu is equal to d initial plus delta d. So if you use these equations we will get the new uh, d initial or can say that a d and we will get the new point x k plus 1 and y k plus 1. So uh, that can be represented as d initial is uh, 6, d new is equal to 2, the new point is 21 comma 11 here. Now uh, the d nu will become the d initial for the next iteration that is 2 will become the d initial next in for the next iteration. So d initial is equal to 2 now which is again greater than or equal to 0 we need to select the case number 2. So while uh, once you select the case number 2 again we need to use these three equations to come up with the new point as well as the d nu. So uh, the d, uh, new point is calculated by adding 1 1 to the previous point that is 21 plus 1 is equal to 22, 11 plus 1 is equal to 12 here and d nu is calculated using uh, this equation. Uh, the answer for this one is minus 2. So the minus 2 is the d nu which will become the d initial for the next iteration that is uh, minus 2 is the uh, d, d initial for the next iteration because which is, which is uh, less than uh, 0 we need to select the first case and these are the three equations we need to use to calculate the next point here. xk plus 1 is calculated by adding 1 to the previous point that is xk. We will get uh, 23. yk plus 1 is obtained by uh, uh, yk. There is no need to add any value here which is equal to 12 itself. Uh, d nu is calculated uh, using the this equation. Here we will get 14 as the answer. So d nu is uh, 14 these are the two coordinates of the new point 14 will become the d initial for the next iteration now using uh, d initial as 14 uh, we use case number 2 again and then we will calculate the new point that is xk plus 1 and yk plus 1 d nu is calculated d nu is equal to 14 xk plus 1 and yk plus 1 are for 24 and 13 respectively once you calculate uh, these points, uh, we need to uh, select this d nu as the d initial for the next iteration that is uh, 10 as the d initial. Again 10 is greater than 0, we select uh, the second case, 
we use these three equations to come up with the answer. Uh, xk plus 1 and yk plus 1 are calculated by adding 1 to the previous point. Now it will become 25 and uh, 14. d nu will become 6 in this case. Now this uh, 6 will become the d initial for the next iteration again. 6 is greater than 0. Again we need to select the case number 2. You, we need to use these three equations to come up with the, the new point which is calculated over here by adding 1 uh, to xk and yk we will get xk plus 1 and yk plus 1 that is 26 and 15 d nu is equal to d initial plus delta d which is equal to 2 here now 2 will become the d initial for the next iteration using uh, 2 as a d initial we will calculate the new point as well as the d initial or can say d nu uh, in this case d nu is equal to minus 2 and the next point is obtained by adding 1 to xk and 1 to yk that is 27 and 16 we will get. Once you get the d nu as minus 2, we need to select this as the d initial for the next iteration. That is the d initial is equal to minus 2. Again, we need to use the uh, one of these two cases. In this case, the minus 2 is less than 0. Hence, we need to select the first case. Use these three equations to come up with uh, what we can say that the new point as well as the new uh, d nu value. The new point is 28,16 and d nu is equal to 14. After that, uh, we need to select 14 as the d initial. Uh, 14 is greater than 0. Because of that, we need to select uh, the case number 2. Once you select case number 2, we need to use these three equations. That is, uh, xk plus 1 and yk plus 1 are obtained by adding 1 to xk and yk. And uh, d nu is calculated using this equation. The xk plus 1 and yk plus 1 are 29 and 17 respectively and uh, d nu is equal to 10. So this 10 will become the d initial for the next iteration again and we calculate the new point that is uh, we obtain uh, 30 and 18. d nu is 6 here. So 6 is d nu, 30 and 18 are xk plus 1 and yk plus 1 respectively. Now if you observe this uh, thing carefully we got the last point or the end uh, point here. The end point is 30, 18. Uh, we obtain that particular point over here. Now, uh, once you got the end point, we need to stop uh, the uh, algorithm here. And then we need to draw all the points uh, starting from 20, 10 till 30, 18 over here. So these are all the in between points. 20, 10 is the first point. 30, 18 is the last point over here. Finally, we need to draw the line starting from 20, 10 to 30, 18. So this is the line uh, how it looks like. 20 is, 10 is the first point. Second point is 21, 11 here. So 21 is somewhere here and 11 is over here. Next 22, 12. So 22, 12 is the next point. 23, 12 is the next point. After that we have 24, 13, 25, 14 till the last point 30 18 here so this is the procedure to draw the line uh, using midpoint line drawing algorithm given the start and end point i hope this uh, concept is clear i have also solved the few numerical examples on dda line drawing algorithm as well as bresenham's line drawing algorithm link for those videos is given in the description below do follow those videos to understand how to draw the line using different line drawing algorithms in computer graphics. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.